the real review is back. So uh, we're gonna bring you a little bit of a twist uh, to this uh, beautiful section that you love so much. We're gonna have three sections the same way, but they're gonna change a little bit. We're gonna start with the follow and follow. And then the second will be uh, a new thing we'll bring you from some uh, social tools. Social tools. And of course, the last section is gonna be the comment of the week. So, you know, this week the comments were all right. They're always all right, but we want you to step your game up in the comments. We're gonna pick maybe the funniest comment, maybe the most constructive one, maybe the one that starts the biggest thread. So uh, wait and see for that. Of course, if you haven't done so, like and subscribe and uh, well, let's go to a follow and follow. So Mateo, you follow the week. I'm gonna go with uh, James Rodriguez. I think, uh, of, of course, I must say that I am very biased here. I am Colombian, so of course I'm gonna give him a, a follow after a good performance. There's been a lot of speculation in the press. Uh, even Zidane has had to, in the press conference, say that James is gonna stay. But um, against Celta, he proved that he really wants to stay. He had only 20 minutes to show, and he was, he, he, was, he was electric. He was the James yeah. that we usually see in the national team. I'm very happy that he uh, gave that performance. So, James Rodriguez, I am following you. My follow will go to Las Palmas. It's a team that uh, last year already kind of showed some things that were going to make people talk about them. And this year, definitely a very strong start of the league, probably the strongest. Uh, it's fair to, well, I mean, they're leading the league. They're leading. Uh, due to goal average, but you know, take a picture to the, <laughs> to the tabla de clasificaciones. Las Palmas is uh, leading uh, the league. Maybe a lot of people will start saying, oh, will this be the Leicester of Spain? I don't think they will, but you know, follow to Las Palmas. Follow leading to the Las league Palmas. with six Morse. points and a, a very good goal average. Unfollow. My unfollow, again, James Rodriguez related. So a few days ago, El Tino Asprilla, Faustino Asprilla, for some of you that uh, follow Premier League, he played in West Ham. Uh, he also played in Parma. He was a great goal scorer for Colombia in the 90s. He perpetuated all this talk that uh, Zidane is racist, that there's something going on in terms of racism or xenophobia or something like that. And that's why, he do why, that's why Zidane doesn't play James Rodriguez. I just want to put, I want to put a stop to this because I think it's, it's very clear that when James wants to play and when he gives it his all, he gets the minutes. That's it. That's it. It's not about race or color or where he comes from. It's not about anything like that. So unfollow for Tino Apria. My unfollow goes for Sergio Ramos. Okay, so to a lot of people say, oh, we don't criticize Real Madrid players. Yes, we do, when they deserve to be criticized. Yes, we do. So unfollow to Sergio Ramos for this um, statement that he says uh, uh, regarding the first uh, national team list by uh, Julian Lopetegui, the new national team coach saying, it is surprising to not see Iker Casillas on the list. So I'm gonna unfollow Sergio Ramos for two questions. Question number one, it is surprising to who? Like who is surprised to not see Casillas anymore? Maybe you, Sergio Ramos, is a friend of yours and a myth, but you know, I don't think anybody else was surprised to not see Casillas on the list of the national team anymore. I wasn't. And number two, because I don't think that for a captain, it's probably the guy who's gonna, you know, take the lead in a, a psychological aspect of this team, uh, it's a good way to start, kind of uh, questioning the first uh, national team list of the, of, the, of the new coach. Starts by questioning, it's like, oh, Casillas is not on the list, why, why, why? So I don't think that's a good attitude by Sergio Ramos, so unfollow for Sergio Ramos. Yeah, not helping, Sergio, not helping. Not helping, so anyway, that was our follow and unfollow. Let us know what was your follow and unfollow, and uh, we'll see you in the next section. Welcome to this new section, Galacticos, where we're gonna be using some of the really cool social tools we have on our brand new webpage that is already online. You should go check it out for sure. It's called thefootballrepublic.com slash realgalacticos. Go check it out. This time we're gonna be using this uh, fans feeling about, which is uh, really cool because we're gonna be telling you what the fans are feeling about Morata. The only thing that's clear is the fact that Morata is still a very polarizing figure. Similar percentages of the fans are feeling very different things about Morata. We think it's just a matter of time to see if all Real Madrid fans and what they're feeling about Morata shifts to the good side or to the bad side. But for now, this is what we're feeling. Galacticos, make sure to check out our webpage. The link is on the description below. Let's go to the comment of the week. And our comment of the week, this week is by our friend Omar Haider, who says something very interesting that will definitely spark a debate. And it says, if it's so easy, as they say about Cristiano Ronaldo, if it's so easy to score four or five goals against weaker or shitty teams, why didn't anyone else? Yeah, exactly, exactly. 
that is your question, Galacticos, for all those haters out there that keep saying, oh, Ronaldo only scores against easy teams. If it's so easy, then what, you know, everyone should be doing it. We should be seeing, uh, I don't know, maybe... Uh, Messi and Bale and, uh, and Griezmann and all these players, uh, and you know, in, in other leagues as well, scoring four or five goals in every game against weak teams, but they don't. But there's this whole thing that we wanted to, to talk about in this comment is, when Cristiano does it, you know, it's, it's a reason to hate on him. Yeah. It's like, yeah. it's so easy, it's so easy. But you know, if somebody else was doing it, we'd all be going like nuts. Oh, look at this new player, the yeah, new yeah. Maradona, the new Pelé scoring goals like crazy. But because it's Cristiano, he's like, oh, it's very easy to score five goals against Espanol. Yeah, and proof of that is, for example, last season, right uh, at the end of the season, when Suarez was scoring like four or five goals per match, right in the last few matches, they were playing against some pretty easy teams. And yeah, the same teams that Cristiano Ronaldo was scoring the same amount of goals. Exactly, to, yeah. and all Suarez was doing was receiving praise of, oh my God, he's a killer, he's the best number nine in the world. When Cristiano did it, oh, they're just easy teams. It's so easy to score against these. So remember that comment, guys, you can see it down here. That is your Real Madrid and Cristiano hater blocker. <laughs> anyway, Galacticos, we hope you enjoyed this uh, new format of the Real Review. Let us know what you think. Uh, let us know if you agree or disagree or what are your follow and follow or comment of the week in general. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Ah, before you go, like and subscribe. Tell your friends and family we're here. And I will see you tomorrow.